The inventor of the cremation stove is a genius. The process is simple, but not as straightforward as just tossing someone in. First, the body is prepared to look peaceful and natural. Then, there's a farewell with family and friends. Staffs remove any jewelry or medical devices to prevent explosions. The body is placed in a coffin-like wooden box to improve burning efficiency. The furnace is preheated to 80 to 100 degrees before the body is pushed in. Under high heat, moisture and fat evaporate and burn away. The temperature reaches around 150 degrees. After about 30 minutes, only bones and some impurities remain. Professionals control the furnace temperature to ensure complete burning. After cremation, ashes and unburned bones are removed. The ashes are cooled and a magnet extracts non-combustible items like false teeth. The ashes are ground into fine particles and placed in an urn. Cryopreservation is more sophisticated. The body is frozen at minus 18 degrees Celsius to prevent decay. It's transferred to liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius, causing muscles and bones to harden and become brittle. A vibration device shatters the body into fine particles. The particles are vacuum dried and filtered to remove impurities resulting in pure ashes placed in a biodegradable coffin. In about six months, the powder decomposes into fertilizer for planting trees, achieving dust to dust.